Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Grandpi, and this is Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Part 13. All right. So last time we got all the cheats put in, and uh, got to work on Rusty Bucket Bay. We've done everything off of the Rusty Bucket, so we're getting started here on the things that you actually do on the ship. Now, climbing up this way. There's some important stuff up here. Like this mumbo token. And over here... Here we go. We have... A Jiggy! Just flying here. Okay. Let's just go down. Now, there were some notes that I missed. Uh, I'll grab these. If the camera will be awesome. Okay, now, there are certain areas where you can break the glass here and uh, enter the ship. You can also enter these. If they're not out to kill you, anyway. Now there's a boom box down there. I would like him to not kill me. Woo! That guy didn't quite make it to me. I think you might take uh, multiple hits of damage if those guys explode on you, so be careful. There we go. So, that was a nice little detour. Some of these rooms that you find will be cooler than others. This one was kind of lame, actually. Let's go try to find something cooler. Now, this one is going to want to murder me. You see, um, since this, uh... Since the entire boat is like symmetrical, um, the, a counterpart to one that you can go in will be one that will kill you. If that makes any sense. Let's see here, nothing up here. You can find a picture of Conker right here. That's kind of cool. And up here, you can find a guy that wants to murder you, as well as a mumbo token. All right! Um... Let's see, there'll be some more stuff up here. Slayer of the ship. Let's see, this glass can break this one. This one is kind of important, I believe. Yes, it is! This is where you find the red mystery egg. Oh. Right here. On this bed. I don't know what the code is offhand, but uh, I'll have it in the video description. You also have to come in here, because there's a Jiggy. And I think that's it. Oh, and uh, here's a picture of the Rusty Bucket out at sea. It's not out at sea right now, but, um, you know, it goes out there occasionally, I guess. I believe this is a safe one, considering it isn't growing eyes and growling at me. Just beat these guys. You can avoid them by just sort of running around on tables and stuff, but why would you do that? There's some eggs in here. I can grab them. I mean, I don't really need these particular eggs, but it's nice to have. Let's hear a note. There we go. Don't hu don't touch these irons. They kind of kill you. Then there's this mumbo token. You can wander wing into it. And then get out. Alright. 
Now, I will touch one of the irons, just because Grunny says something, something kind of funny when you do it the first time. Indeed. Oh, Mumbo token at the front of the ship. This one's gonna try to kill me, because it's the counterpart to that one over there, which didn't try to kill oh, hamsters. Well, uh, since I'm down here, I might as well do this. There's this anchor over here. Go into this hole. And you're on the inside of the rusty bucket. There are these guys in this hallway down here. Pretty big ones. And then there's this uh, switch over here. And there's this dolphin under the anchor. I could have talked to him earlier, but uh, I didn't. Yes, and he gives us a jiggy. Now, there is an interesting theory that people have about that dolphin. In that, um, you see, we never see him again. And there's no real exit to this area, at least by water. So, some people actually think that the dolphin, he swims away, and then he goes into the area where Snacker is, and, well, things get bad from there, let's just say that. Alright, let's grab this jiggy. Alright, that, that brings us up to eight, only two more to go. And fans of this game know that the next two are pretty darn tough. Oh yeah. Really tough. Perhaps the hardest jiggies in the Banjo-Kazooie series. But I'm not gonna go do those quite yet. There's still a little bit of stuff to do. Notes, mostly. Now let's see here, uh... There should be some places that I haven't been to yet. Uh, been to there. Maybe up here. I know that one of these areas has like four notes in it, and I was looking all over the place for those four notes for a long time. Aha! Here's this room. We've got a mumbo token in here. And, uh, oh! Hey! There, dude. Um, yeah. Looks like that's about it. The navigation room is a pretty cool area. I don't know what this island is offhand. Maybe... It looks kind of like Treasure Trove Cove. Maybe? I don't know. Don't know what that island is. And we got the radars and stuff in here. Oh wait. I can't go out of this way. I'll have to go through this way. Alright, I think that's it. Whoa, hello there, don't don't knock me off again. Okay, folks. It's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the engine room! Pain will ensue, I assure you. Well, it wouldn't be a Let's Play without fail, and y'all are about to get a ton of it. First, Mumbo Token. At least I think y'all are about to get a ton of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll be all pro-like and get this on the first try. Probably not, though. That probably isn't gonna happen. I highly doubt it. Okay, 84 notes. Only 16 more to go. Uh, anything up here? Nope, nothing on this flag. Oh, there was a mumbo token up there. I'm not gonna try to get that anymore, but it's up there. I think this is the one that kills you. Yeah, it is. Which means that this is the one that doesn't kill you. Okay, so before entering the engine room proper, you're gonna want to hit this switch here.
This will slow the fans down. Make it possible to navigate the thing. Okay. Now that that's all said and done... It's time to enter the engine room proper. Alright, let's just fall with all this skill and get into this hole, where we find the next honeycomb piece. That just leaves two more to be gotten. Okay, now this. This will spin around. Please demonstrate yourself. Thank you. Could just sort of jump over this gap here, but I want to grab the mumbo token. Uh, there, there is these gears. Very nice. Avoided the gears. And there's these. They spin, speed up for a little while, and then slow down again. See, they're really fast now. And then they'll slow down. You wanna, wanna, you want to run across these with a kazooie. Because most of the time they'll be at an odd angle and you'll have to... Banjo might slip across it. Alright, now you see there's two more fan switches in here. You want to hit this one second. Not very good planning ahead of time, I know, but... I should have gone over there first. Well, made it so that uh, I would have gone over there first. Go through these fans, be very careful about that. It's kind of annoying. All right, got all the notes now. And another Jiggy in tow. So, got all the empty honeycomb pieces, got nine Jiggies and 100 notes. That leaves one Jiggy to be obtained in this area, and then I'm done. Oh, and an extra life. I, I think I'll take this extra life. All right, I'm up to eight. Now, the reason why you want to do this one first is because, you see, there's this spinning thing. You'll have to backflip jump to get over this one, because it ends whenever the protrudy thing is on top. So you see, you hit it, and these propellers will slow down. These propellers, not so much. They still do their thing. Oh, dear! Oh, no, no! Ah, oh, darn it. I think she says that the first time you die. Is that the first time I've died in this Let's Play? I... Um... I don't... Is it? I think it is! Seriously, that's the... Uh... That... I... I'm not that good at this game, am I? No, no. No, I'm not. I, I must have died at some point. Okay, let's... So, you see, we have to start all over again. Now, I don't know what I should say about this. I mean, it's like... Because of the version of this I'm playing, the Xbox 360 version, even if there had been a few more notes in there, and those would be the last notes... Uh, or well, if there had been a few more notes in there, I hadn't collected them all, then I would have to go all the way around the world to collect all the notes again, because they would have all appeared. But, um, I got all the notes. But since this is the Xbox 360 version, this is an easier area. Since, um, you don't have to go recollecting the notes all the time. This is a, uh, less deadly portion of the game. Okay, here we go. Let's just, um, jump through this propeller here. Wait for this propeller to speed up and then slow down again. Speed up, and then slow down. There we go. 
Oh, the, uh, the extra life appears. Or, well, it reappears. That's helpful. Now I'll be able to go through the, uh, well, ba basically do this infinitely. Let's go. Yes, good. Oh, no! No, no, oh, man. How am I failing this so hard? At this point, I don't even know if I should be cutting stuff out, because I just, I don't know. Those propellers, man. Gee whiz, I can't even get to the part where it's hard. Alright, step one. I wish that they would only spin slowly, but no, they don't. They alternate between slow and fast. But even then, I'm always hitting them whenever they're going slow. Somehow. Let's just do it this way. You can also use that attack to break the thing. Alright, wait for it to spin again. There we go. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait for it to go the rounds again. Just stand on this red thing. Go! Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's do this. By the way, you can press the uh, R button to center the camera behind Banjo. I don't think I've ever mentioned that before. You don't have to do it a whole lot in this game because the camera controls are better. Well, in this version of the game, anyway. But, um, in the uh, original N64 version, you would uh, probably have to do that a lot. There we go. Now let's do this with less fail this time. There we go. Okay. Just gonna make sure that this does another round. Then beat, bomb it, or do that move. Okay, so now, there will be a timer. Yes, right there. We have about a minute to get over there. We'll have to go under the water. Whoa, camera. Camera, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to go under the water. Then grab that jiggy by going through the propellers. If the propellers are moving, they are instant death. No way to get around them. Let's go! Okay, 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 I did it. I just freaking did it. I just did that. Now let's try to not drown on our way over to this box. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. That, folks, finishes up Rusty Bucket Bay. Now, there's still a little bit of time in this video, so I'm going to do some stuff. Now, the Witch Switch G that we got from Rusty Bucket Bay, I'm actually going to save that one for last. Just... just because. Okay, um... So, let's get... let's, uh, at least open up the next world. Or try to. Um, where's the exit? Oh, there it is. get to the surface here. Watch out for the shrapnel. 
He'll probably want to kill you, and he takes off at least two health. Oh. Alright, there's this note door here. 640 notes? Oh yeah, that door was totally going down. Well, folks, with that done, in this episode we got past Rusty Bucket Bay. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we'll see what's up past this door. See you later!